Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, um, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Oh, this is so sad. Was that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapets? Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an armor. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure. We're kind-hearted guards who do what we can every single day. Doing solids, saving lives. Gotta say, it feels good. Real good! I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. The Sunshine Institute? I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa! That's hardcore! Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Oh, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Um, huh. Ugh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Oh, she's not my pet. I'm just looking after her for someone as a favor. You're a strong, independent llama. You don't need to define your life with a pet owner relationship. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <coughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Yeah, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to ya. Ya know? Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch in you. Please don't hit me. Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. You know, like one trillion out of ten! Yeah! Cause it's the seventh! What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? That was one day when I was like, soup! How many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. <clears throat> Let's see what you found, Luna. Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing, Luna. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> um, uh, uh, how about I call this one the uh, the uh, golden apple? Yeah. Uh, huh. uh, I might just be hungry. Yeah. That is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. The cabin must be through that door. plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends. Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. Welcome! Challenges Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo! Wow, the admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge? 
challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> like an 
Crap, crap, crap! How am I supposed to light this thing? That might work! Take a look around. Someone went through a lot of trouble to keep this place whole. Uh, where are you going? Petra's waiting for you. Right. I'm sure this isn't what you thought you were signing up for. Being an intern doesn't usually involve deadly adventures. Uh, what? Did you say something? Nope. Nothing. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar. You've earned it. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. I wonder if Petra found something. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Until someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Just ugh, gets me every time. Come on, Petra. You're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? 
my fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners. What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. These must be their banners. Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay. Really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Always liked the color blue. Something peaceful about it. Whoa! It's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Red bed. Huh. Kind of fun to say. This one's purple. Very... regal. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Purple for Zara. the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato 451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. I, oh, I hate potatoes. That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage? Hmm. Huh. I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for them, too. This wasn't easy. For any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... 
Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together, more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think... I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. did it. This is it then! Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. is hidden for a reason, to keep things away. We're still missing Jack, and this is how we get him back with us. Great, that won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. <laughs> weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once, Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made.
Here. I found this. And... There are good things left. If you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? I can be a destroyer! 
attraction! Uh, yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. I know! But if I do that, it'll let everyone get through the portal safe and sound! Yeah! Yeah! I'll totally lead him away and you guys can make a run for it! Radar, you have nothing to prove to us. We know that you're capable. Yeah, look how well you did back in Romeo's challenge. You don't have to do this. It's, it's not about that. It's about doing what's right. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. <laughs> Enderman is after me! I can buy you time! You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. Get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He passes. And he's giving us an opening. Everyone now! Kent, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. portals ever I'm with the llama <laughs> is everyone all right it's the order's temple we did it we're back <laughs> radar would be flipping out if he were here right now Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Beacon Town. Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? <laughs>